Man, I love college. Do I really have to graduate, or can I just stay here for the rest of my life? Kino Radio. Kino Radio. Kino Radio. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? You are back, tuned in, listening to Kino Radio once again. I am Kyle Wakefield, like I've been the last 10 or so episodes. I don't know. What episode are we on? I haven't counted yet. We're, we're close to 10. We're getting close to 10. So, um, as you can see alongside me, I got once again Andrew Brer. Brer, how are we doing today? Doing good. Yeah. Living life good. Yeah. So, uh, our last video that we put up was the behind the music of Andrew Barrera. So hopefully you all know him. You all feel like you know him a little better than you did before. So we brought him back. He's feeling positive. He's feeling good. Feeling good about what the bees have done, the trade deadline. We'll get into that. Um, just a quick, we were we were on, we are MIA for the last week or so. Yep. Just because things were a little slow. I, was, I had a little head cold. I had to rest up. Just not much going on. We had yeah. hockey. We had, uh, that, that was about yeah, it. Just a boring week. Boring week. Not boring much week. going on. So... We are back at it right now with Barrera. Um, so let's, I mean, get right into it. We we just have kind of, today's a all over the place kind of yeah. day, wouldn't you say? We're, we're kind of just... stuff to talk about. Yeah, we, we, I think there's some great stuff. We kind of have just anything that's relevant in the news today. So yep. we got, like I said, our clocky season just, just ended. So we're going to get into that. We're going to get into the NHL tra- trade deadline. We're going to get into the NFL... Free agency yep. as it just started today was today was what the franchise tag day. Yeah, everyone was basically. putting franchise tags <laughs> on everyone today. Um, what's today's date? So everyone knows we have March second. Can't, Can't believe it's March. Oh um, other relevant things as I look at my phone, we got spring break next week. We have spring break in two weeks, so we might dab into that next week. I'll probably do a more heavier spring break focused yeah, episode. Um, but let's get right into it. First things first, what do we got on Saturday, Barrera? We got Blarney, bro. We have we the Blarney Blarney. blowout this Saturday, March 7th, UMass Amherst. Tell your friends. Everyone's welcome. <laughs> Don't tell them I sent you because I'm probably going to get in trouble with the university for saying that. But I guess we're going to – let's start off. Let's talk the policies. Let's talk previous Blarney blowouts. Let's just yeah. – let's talk everything. So what is your experience with the Blarney blowout for the previous two years? Well, my freshman year, I didn't have a good one. I, like, literally, I tried going with a bunch of people. They they left the dorms really early. I, I was stuck in the dorms. You got myself. stuck in the dorms? You yeah. didn't get to you didn't get to go to townhouses? No, because at that at that point, I was, like, very, I mean, as you know, I stuck, stay in the dorms a lot my freshman year. Yep. So, like, I didn't know where the townhouses were. So You like, didn't know where the townhouses they, were? I didn't know where townhouses were. I didn't know where Puffton was. I didn't know where any of that stuff wow. was. Wow. So, like, I was like, okay, if I were to go, I'd need to go with somebody because I don't know where anything is. But everybody left, so I was like, fuck, I'm supposed to stay here. <laughs> he has nowhere to go. All right. Um, my freshman year, I did I did go to the townhouses. It was a blast. I mean, it was kind. Of, it was pretty much like nothing I've ever seen before because this was, second semester was my first semester at UMass. Yep. I wasn't here first semester, so I didn't get any big outside festivities. So it was wild. I mean, in the the thing I remember was it was a beautiful day. It was like yeah, it was it was awesome. Sixties, sixty. It was the first warm bright. day. The snow was pretty much all gone. Yeah, beautiful blue blue sky day. So yep. that I mean, freshman year was great. I like I I didn't really know what it was. I remember like it was kind of like we didn't know are we gonna go or are we not gonna yep, go. Like yep. we didn't really know that it was this big thing. Like it like it turned out to be yeah, last year and what it's yep. turning out to be this year. So I was a little on the fence. We ended up going. I ended up going to D's house. My brother D. Taking a bus over there. If I didn't do that, I wouldn't have caught the bus. The bus yeah. was crazy. Bus were crowded. I remember that. Yeah. Just a lot of people outside, like, just trying to get on buses. Oh, yeah. I remember the bus was, like, the most fun part. We were on the bus, and kids were just throwing beers around. Yeah. <laughs> just throwing like that. that. <laughs> everyone, was, everyone was... That's probably why. This year, they shut the buses down. That's probably why, because they were... It was they wild. I, I mean, they were jam-packed. I did not hear about that. Wow. Yeah. They, they, I remember they didn't even stop. Like, they didn't even stop at probably three quarters of the stuff really? i got on really early and we didn't even stop on campus because yeah. we were packed up so early wow oh yeah my God. so it was crazy it was there was a lot of fun i mean it's just a fun day yeah. is what it is um last year how was your blarney last year last year it was it was better like i went with a bunch of people you know starting to know some people better you mm-hmm. know got up reasonably early like 8 a.m 9 didn't drink too much should have you know, should have <laughs> 
Um, I went to the townhouses, puffed in, all packed, all cops. So you went there? Walked, you went to, like, Brandywine? I, like yeah, I area? walked there. There yeah. were cops everywhere already. Yeah. Just walked back. And then just we just, like, were just looking around. And then eventually club hockey had literally, like, just crowded. So were you here last year? I was here You were last here? Year. Yeah. Yeah. So I was the same way. I ended up being here too. Um, I'm going on the on the record to say, for the kids on the behalf of the kids last year, we did that was not planned at all. Yeah, it was spontaneous, so and all the cops thought it was their fault and was club hockey's fault. Yeah. But I mean, if you guys with SWAT outfits and rubber bullets can't contain a thousand kids what makes you think that six college kids they're gonna listen to you so that was completely spontaneous that was not intentional was not planned at all and this year going on the record we have textual visual evidence we are not throwing any parties on varney we got where the dean of students as you if you listen the first semester recap they told us we can't do anything for blarney which is probably in our best interest because yeah. the house would probably get we don't want anything trashed. Broken. No, yeah, nothing exactly. Broken, nothing, you know, so we're saying right now, in case the cops come after us, if anything does happen, we are planning no parties at all. Yeah. Nothing. Um, mine last year, we woke up early. Woke up about six a.m. Damn. Six Damn. seven a.m. or so. Dawn. Yeah, right. <laughs> I had a bunch of buddies in my room. I D was overslept over my room. Two of my buddies, three of my buddies from home, were all up okay. there. Aussie Joe, okay. and. Yeah, it was great. We 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 drove over to D's house early on. We we were just uh, pre gaming there, yeah. and then Jules actually let me know that there was like something going on at Kino, and I wasn't really sure. I was like, oh yeah, like whatever. There's a couple kids here and yeah. there. She's like, no, it's something legit. So we called a cab, which I remember took like an hour to get no, to. No, I I remember having videos of literally just Puffton and like just going to Puffton. Like literally, the streets were crowded with people. Like, yeah, cars couldn't go like in and yeah. out just because of how crowded that like just north pleasant was at over there yeah the the taxi driver told us i remember they're like you like we tried our best but like it's just so packed we had to take yeah. like a 25 minute detour yeah. to go around all the people so totally inconvenient ended up coming here it was a blast a lot of people around a ton of yeah. people around I, I i thought it was good at first but then like i i was at that window the one who with that got like demolished by beer cans I don't oh know if yeah you remember that. yeah i was there and i just felt so bad for the kids in that and, and then inside. what do you know you ended up living here yeah <laughs> um yeah it was a bummer the house actually it started it stayed intact for the most part except yeah. for that kid's car who i don't think oh, yeah. i don't even I think, know where he lived i think i think i think i remember that like there was just a bunch of people on his car yeah and, and like slashed yeah. his tires and his roof I've, went in that was i felt so bad that's for him. fucked that was so bad that that's the part that it it, it is a huge bummer because yeah. that's when kids just get destructive and just, it's like why yeah. just you because know? the owner you know the kids that live there the thing that i liable for it. yeah and the thing that i like i get that the university doesn't want to look bad but when you just have, like, a bunch of kids. Like, the tailgate, for instance, went fine. Yeah, when you just awesome. have a bunch of kids yeah. just standing around and they're, like, sipping on beers, playing can jam, playing yeah, cornhole, yeah, just like that. Awesome. And that's, at the end of the day, that's essentially what Blarney is, yeah. is just, like, kids standing around and drinking outside. Yeah, stand outside. You just literally like, it's nothing. Time. And then there's the, like, the like literally the 2% of the bad apples who ruin it for everyone who start throwing beer cans and yeah. bottles and yeah. start talking back to the cops and everything. That's where that's when it gets sketchy, and that's when it's like, yeah, come on, gang. Yeah. Like, what are you doing? So, I don't know if you remember last year. I don't, uh, they said more than half of the people that got arrested were from out of... It was, like, 75 uh, arrests, yeah. and, like, 60 of them didn't even go here. Yeah, didn't even go which here. Which was a joke. So, so, that's why they implemented the rule this year, which I get I get this. I get it, too. Of, um, you can't have any outsiders signed into the dorms. Yeah. Which is, I mean... It's kind of fine by me, because I remember last year, I had everyone hit me up, like, trying to come. Yeah. And it's yeah. just like, like yeah, it just becomes a hassle, like, looking over everyone, liable, making yeah, sure liable. everyone has to, is trying to have a good yeah. time, doing all that stuff. It kind of becomes a hassle. So, it, it is, I don't mind that rule, because you can, it's like, it keeps it more of a school thing. I know yeah. that's not what the school is going for, yeah. where they're not trying to just make it a school-oriented thing, but that's how I'm taking it, and... Yeah. It kind of it'll it'll just keep it strictly UMass thing, which is cool for me. I think, I think it's cool. I think it's good too. Just having all the kids just say UMass, no liabilities, you know, from other yeah, places. Exactly. So now, some of the other rules they've implemented. I got the email today that um, the dining halls. The dining halls. That that's kind of goes hand in hand with the um I, with I, the I can see it, with yeah. the dorm rule of I mean, you can't just, swipe anyone in yeah, just unless for the off campus. Yeah, you know? unless they are a um. 
have a U card, which is yep. like the same thing. It's kind of no no outsiders yep. are allowed. And then the 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 big one for me, well, the two big ones, the the one that they're trying to get kids with is the concert. Yeah. So concert, yeah. UMass, if you don't know, they're bringing in Kesha, Juicy J. And, and else. it was Fall Out Boy. They haven't announced it yet. They haven't announced it, no, so it was Fall Out Boy, but still two big name entertainers with Kesha yeah. and Juicy J. And the concert's at what, noon? So yeah, doors open at Doors 11. open at 11, so yep. they put it smack dab in the middle of the day, <laughs> made it free with a U card. They're literally spending all this money to try to to try to clean up the image and make yeah. Blarney not happen. But, I mean, at the end of the day, it's going to happen still. Kids are still going to do it. Yeah, right it's, after. Exactly. So, I mean, I'm the concert's a cool idea. That's that's fine with me. I mean, yeah. I'll probably swing through for a little bit. Um, uh, what do you, I mean, what do you think? I think that, that's a, that, if they could turn that into, like, a staple of Blarney, that'd be a, a yeah. cool little thing. If they thing, just did a concert, a concert every, every time, dude, that would yeah. be awesome. I know? agree. So, um, my thing that I've been saying, which... Uh, if I ever get in contact with a good friend, Kumble Super yeah. Swami again, I'm gonna I'm gonna <laughs> uh, throw it to him. My idea is you have a home lacrosse game at McGurk, and okay. you just have a tailgate. All right, okay. Because remember the tailgate went so yeah, well last ta- year. Oh, the tailgate in September. Or was in awesome. September, yeah. Oh my god. There was no arrest. There was zero arrest. Everyone was like under control. Yeah, the cops were, really were friendly. Up. They weren't. Yeah, yeah, the cops weren't rolling around with. Like paintball yeah. guns and SWAT yeah. gear and they're shields calm, and stuff. Like, yeah. Yes, go to game. Exactly. Get they're out, they're yeah. very cool about it. So that's my thing is Cumble, if you listen to this, you you gotta throw us make sure get a lax game <laughs> on this Saturday every year and that'll be Blarney. Kids will have a ball. And then the second thing with the concert that they're trying to do is they're paying off all the bars. They tried to close all the bars, which this is where it originally Blarney came from. Is it originally yeah. came from the bars? Opening early the Saturday before St. Patrick's Day, be to like and having discounts and getting the kids like that, and it kind of morphed into what it is now of this massive day drink riot of what what it yeah. was the last last year or so. So this year I don't know for all of them, but I know a few of them are opening at four o'clock, which it's to me I don't think that's the move. I think kids are gonna riot. I think the bars are gonna get broken into. I don't know. I'm I preparing for the opposite. worst. I think it's the opposite. You think that's going to be because received as well? A lot of people that go to the bars are upperclassmen. They're not underclassmen. I think underclassmen are more reckless. Upperclassmen has. The, that is true. That's a good point. You know, they um, have the, the brains to not do something stupid. I agree. That is, that that's a good point. They definitely. I think the underclassmen are definitely the ones that you're more scared of, especially like freshmen coming in and they're all yep. gung ho about it because they saw yep. it on the news. But um. Hopefully, I mean, I'm hoping nothing happens. I hope I, it's calm. I really do. I hope. It's I like, hope it's calm too. I mean, I hope we don't. It doesn't look like last year. I mean, yeah. There's no beating around the bush. It's a bad look for everyone. Yeah. Even I know if a lot you're of text just a kid. messages from like un- uncles saying. Yeah. That, right. Yeah. Every every time you go home for whatever, like Easter, everyone's like, "Oh, we saw the Blarney blow with that yeah. you," and it's kind of just a pain in the ass. So, I hope it's calm. I hope it's cool. Um, at the end of the day, my takeaway from Blarney is. It's a day where you dress up, you wear green, and you just drink with your friends. You don't even have to. Just hang out. Just Just celebrate St. Paddy's Day with your friends. And if something happens, something happens. But I know this year... They have. They're gonna have police everywhere. So I, I, I have a hard time. And there's snow. There's like seven feet of snow. So I have a hard time believing that there's gonna be a a A, a day drink anywhere. Successful. Um. So I think this year that's gonna be way more calm than last. Last year was kind of out of control more than it's ever been. I feel like. I don't remember seeing anything like it last year. I, I mean, mean, last year was just insane. I feel like, I don't know, just, it was calm at first here. Yeah. But then, like, it just escalated to, like, that The thing is, the like, when the when the cops try to break it up, they, they like, forcefully did it, and they have, like, a set time. It's, like, 3 o'clock, you have to go, and if you don't listen, then, like, they start shooting at you. It's, like, they kind of have to, like, gradually yeah. tell kids yeah. to go, you know? Yep. And so... Obviously, like it was proven when they did the police report, the police didn't handle it correctly. Um, <coughs> I don't know. That's not my expertise. I'm not yep. gonna go in there and say yeah, they should have. They should have done this. They should have done that. I'm saying they should just be less aggressive. Yep. I don't think there's that many college kids who are gonna stand up to a guy who's pointing a rubber bullet gun and pepper spray yeah. at you. So they must have done something to provoke something. That's yep. all I gotta yep. say. I don't. I don't know what it was, but that's all I got on that. Um, so Blarney this Saturday. March 7th, UMass. 6 a.m. 6 a.m., hopefully. Maybe we're going to get up that early again. Um, Break it down. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see how it goes. I'm hoping yeah, for the best, too. preparing for the worst. 
And I mean, what I mean, you got anything else on Blarney Blarney? I don't know. I just hope it's good. I just hope there's nothing bad. I don't, I don't want to get another bad reputation for UMass. You know. Yeah, I mean. They're trying so hard to shake it. I think they're kind of overdoing it, though. They're putting yeah, in too much are. money, like paying off the bars. Juicy J and Kesha, those are two expensive people for a free yeah, concert. You're not going to make six grand any. each. Yeah, six grand. It's got to be more no, than no, that. Uh, I don't know. I heard six grand. For six you. grand? Oh, I guess. No, it's six grand. Oh, six figures. Sorry, my bad. Yeah, I was like, six, six grand is cheap. All right, six yeah. figures. Sorry, That's something. Exactly. That, that makes more sense. So, <laughs> I mean, Blarney, 2K15. We'll see. Uh pfft. I like it. I don't know. We'll see. We we'll, no, we're going to no report idea. a little uh, side bit. We will have a Kino Radio TV episode for Blarney. We're going to have the GoPro around all day following us around. So if you want a live look at Amherst Land on uh, Blarney, check it out. It'll be out uh, next week at some point before I go on spring break. So I guess we just looked forward. Let's uh, recap backwards. I know you didn't play Clocky, but um, nope. just, a, just a quick little side note. The Clocky season did come to an end. This past uh, Saturday, oh, God. the boys, um, we took on Boston College in the regionals in uh, Danbury, Connecticut. Ended up um, falling short 5-2, to 4-2 two, uh, two with an empty netter. It was definitely a shocker for all of us. We, um, we were coming on really strong. We were coming off neck of champs. Yep. We were coming off a massive upset win against Florida Gulf Coast, the yep. number one team in the country, as you saw in the FGCU video. Um, so it was a shocker. I mean, it was very sad. It's always sad when the season ends. Yeah. There's, I mean, that's there's no question of that. But it was a very successful season. I think yeah. we um, we came together as a crew. We did a lot. Like I said, we won our league. We beat the best team in the country. We had our ups and downs. So my my one criticism of of our season this year is we're very inconsistent. We played down to teams' levels. Yep. We played up to teams' levels, but yeah. we were never the highs got too high and the lows got too low. We needed to maintain that middle ground. Which we couldn't do, and ultimately, like we said, we fell short. Um, so no spring break in Utah this year. Spring break in PCB, um, which I guess I mean it's a win-win for everyone. Either it was go to Natty's or go to PCB. So yeah. that's good. Um, you got anything on the season? You went to a couple games. Oh, uh, I mean, from what I saw, you guys, you guys all know each other pretty good. I mean, you guys are literally brothers. So, I mean, when you guys play, <laughs> you guys play pretty good. I mean, one of the games I saw at Providence, beat them like seven nothing. Yeah, that was the first game I saw. That was that was crazy. Keith State was next game I saw. That was good. Saw or sore? Sore. Sore. Yeah. All right, you sore. Keith State. That was a good game. That was overtime. It was like four four. That was good. There you have it. Hot take from Andrew Barrera. You know he's the king of the hot takes. <laughs> that is the hot take of the clocky season. The boys became brothers. That's uh, that's all there is to it. So. Moving on from that, um, I have my list. Let me get my handy dandy list out here. We talked Blarney, we talked Clocky. Um, let's go just something quick. Um, one of my buddies I was asking for topics to uh, ramble on about came up with this one. Hot news from the weekend: the dress, the dress scandal. Dress, a lot of stuff. Blue, black, gold, white. So <laughs> if you haven't seen it, which I can't imagine you haven't seen, I mean, I had parents coming up to me at our game asking what I saw. So I think everyone in the world has seen it at this point. Um, there's a dress online. Some people saw blue and black, and some people saw white and gold. I don't know. Has anyone come out and said why this happens? No, I, ha- I haven't. I heard it was it some yet. emotional thing where if you're, like, sad or you have a negative response, then yeah. you see the black and blue. And if you're, like, happy, you see white and gold. Um, I don't know how that works. That's weird. I saw white and gold every time. And you're kind of a sad person. I'm kind of a sad person <laughs> a lot. Um, so, yeah, I like I said, I, I don't know this one. I... I saw white and gold. Yeah, I did too. I oh. could see where people are coming with the blue. It looks like the white looks yeah. like um, like white when it's in a shade. Yeah. It kind of yeah. was like a light blue white, so I could see that. I don't know where people are coming yeah, with the it gold. It just came though. out of nowhere. It like Twitter. I mean, with the black, like the black. The black. I yeah. the the gold. Obviously, I saw the white and gold, like I said. Um, but the black and blue. I mean, what? Yeah, I haven't seen that yet. Yeah. I haven't seen it yet at all. And I have like friends who are like thoroughly convinced that this is it was black and gold oh my God. so i don't know if you know if you're listening let us know what the deal is with that i i'm not a scientist um i'm not a doctor <laughs> i don't know what it is that that you have to be to figure out those type of things so um bro fix your hair you got your hair coming down out of your hat bro dude i have long hair no you don't Can i get a haircut it's not long enough where it should be coming out of the bottom of your hat like that. You look like a slob. Um, anyways, let's move <laughs> into uh, sports. Sports. Nice. Sports. 
What do you want to do? You want to do NHL? You want to do NFL? Let's do NHL first. NHL first? Yeah, let's do NHL first. All right, we have um, NHL trade deadline was today, 3 o'clock, Tuesday. No, stay tuned. No, yeah, today is Monday. 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 Monday, March 2nd, 3 o'clock. Uh, we'll start off the hometown boys. The Bees acquired my boy, Maxime Talbot, a.k.a. Talbot from the Colorado Avalanche really? 4. I did, not, I did not know You didn't that. hear that one? That was the big one of the day. Really? I heard they got the guy from Lightning. Yeah, we got him yesterday. Uh, Brett Connolly. Yeah, Brett Connolly. Um, Brett Connolly from Tampa Bay. We got him last night. That one I don't know a whole lot about. Um, I just heard he's like a good, you know, second second line, third line. Yeah, that one. Yeah, I don't really. I've never really seen him. He's so very young. He very is young, young, which is good. We have a very young team. We're building yeah. for the future. But um, going back to Talbo. Talbo, I love it. He, in my opinion, should have got MVP in 09 of the playoffs. But obviously, they had to give it to Crosby when the Pens won. Um, great pickup for the bees. Sad to see Karan leave. I always liked him. He, um, they drafted him with high hopes. Okay. Um, thought he was going to produce, was the big body, kind of like a, a Lucic Jr. type guy, yeah. but just never could really get over the hump and become uh, a mainstay for the bees. He was, he was up and down between Providence and Boston his whole career. Um, he was here for a while too. He hung on and he, he really never could... Never could make a name for himself on on the big league squad. So, I wish him the best in Colorado. My Colorado is a young team, as I recall. Yeah, I hope he can fit in there because I he has talent, he has skill. It's just he never really got it going. I think he had trouble fitting into the B system, which a lot of players do, because <laughs> their system is boring. Yep. And so he's. I hope he flourishes in uh, Colorado. But I like Talbo. I think he'll be a great fit. He's a Bruin. He's a rough and tough forward. He'll buy right in defensive schemes. He's an older guy. So he's a veteran presence in the locker room. Okay. Um, he's won a cup before, like I said, with Pittsburgh, so I think he'll fit right in. Um, other big names around the deadline, uh, Keith Yandel yeah. to New York. Uh, the Rangers picked up Keith Yandel. I thought he was going to come to Boston. He's a yeah, Boston I, I, boy. I heard I heard Boston or the Rangers for a long time. Yeah, he That's grew crazy. up in Boston, so I thought he was going to come home. He's, kinda, he's older, so I thought he would yeah. finish up his career in Boston. But he ended up... I don't know if he chose New York or New York chose him, but whatever. However it works, he, uh, he made his debut tonight. He's actually playing right now versus Nashville. Yep. Rocking 93. I like it. <laughs> I like it a lot. So uh, best of luck to him in um, New York, even though I like to see him come home. And yep. who else got um, dished around? I know Chris Stewart was on the trade block. Yager. Oh, yeah, Yager. Yager <laughs> went down to Florida. Two big ones. Um, yep. Yager and Danny Heatley. Down to Florida. Okay. Oh, Florida. Yeah. Wow. So, Florida, this is Yager's eighth team now. Eighth team, dude. That is crazy. It's wild. And he's currently fourth, I believe, fourth or fifth in the league in points of dude, all time. Not he, like this he year. He keeps all his jerseys from his teams. <clears throat> yeah, he's got he does. it. Okay. 100%. I mean, that's just – I. this is one thing I, I hate is a – guy like him a, a vet not only a vet but like a a goat like he's a yeah. he's he's up there like he's i said he's there, top just... five in scoring of all time and he's just like i don't know what he's doing but he's flying around the whole league i mean at this point he should try to just touch down in every team yeah which i i never really understood so good for him i actually saw yesterday he scored and um they had I think it was probably Ekblad. They had a 19-year-old score. So the Florida Panthers in, in the same game had a 19-year-old and a 43-year-old score goal for him, that which is, is pretty remarkable. Big, uh, big uh, age difference. Yeah, pretty remarkable. And it wasn't a father-son charity game either, so keep that in mind. Um, Danny Heatley, <laughs> who was in the AHL for the better part of the season with uh, Anaheim. He never really clicked there. He was in, um, I think, Norfolk. Is where is where they play. Okay. So he was there. <laughs> Hopefully he can get the wheels going in Florida. But uh, I don't know what happened to him. I mean, he was he had fifty and oh seven, like that famous Twitter handle. Um, but fifty and oh seven, he was he had the five goal game in the oh uh, four All Star game. Really? Yeah, I think he was rookie of the year. His rookie year, he was he was he was phenomenal. I mean, he was a, a, a great player. He won a gold medal with Canada. He was on Team Canada. I think he won a gold and. The trains just came off the rails on his career. I guess <laughs> just he just hill. yeah. I guess he's just old. So um, hopefully he can get something going down in the Sunshine State. Or I think both of them are just gonna ride off into the sunset together for yeah. their careers in I the mean, Sunshine. I mean State. they're just they're just trying to help Florida get to that eight spot right now. Yeah, I mean it's a dogfight between Florida and the bees pretty much for that eight spot. You got Philly coming up too a little bit. Yeah, they're uh, I'm not too worried about Philly. I don't think they they have it in them. 
but the bees got to turn it up. I mean, it's crunch time. We got what twenty games left or so. Bro, yeah. Uh, about twenty games left. Still fighting for that eight seed. <coughs> We're in the eight seed right now. Florida's in the nine, and Philly's in the ten. Mm-hmm. I believe we have. Who's in front of us? We have uh, Washington, I think. Capitals? The seven? I don't know. I think it's Capitals, seven. I was thinking it was Detroit. But someone, whoever's in seven <coughs> is considerably far in front of us at this point. So it's kind of a dogfight between us and Florida at the moment for that eight seed. So hopefully Talbo, a guy like Talbo, a guy like uh, Connolly can come in. Can help his, that team it's his name's Connolly, right? Am yeah, I saying Connelly, that? Brett yeah. Connolly? Yep. All right. Um, I didn't want to mess that up. So hopefully those two can come in and do some work for the big bad yeah, bees. Help offense out, dude. Oh, my God. Yes. Yeah. Give it a spark. I'm sick of these one-goal games. Overtime game in New Jersey. We should have destroyed Yeah, them. right? And we had a lead, too. So yeah. that was bogus. Um, I mean, we beat Coyotes by a lot, but it's the Coyotes. Yeah, they're, they're, I'm pretty sure they're dead last in the league right now. I mean, they just gave up their whole team. <laughs> yeah, seriously. I mean, they're trading everyone away. They got, they got to get that team out of there. I mean, there's nothing going for them. They stink. It's, it's, I mean, you could say Florida, too, but like they're, they're doing pretty well. At least they're sure. hanging in there. And they're, yeah. Uh, both of them, get them all out of there. Get those no teams. We, if you want to check out how we feel about the NHL, check out those sports buzzes. The one with D, me, D, and uh, Stevie, and then we had the one with D, Foz, and Petey where we, we talked about the chill, talked about realignment and all that stuff, what they should do with that, um, Winter yep. Classic and whatnot. Um, NHL, that's it, right? Yep. We're good. We got on the trade deadline. Let's uh, let's keep it in Deportes, take it into uh, Football Americano. For all my uh, friends south of the border, that's uh, you know what that means. But all my friends in our border, we don't who don't know that's uh, sports and uh, American football. So, um, not a ton going on. Just thought we'd like to to mention that when does free agency officially start? It's March. Oh it's in March. God. I don't know, dude. Uh, I know it's mid March. It's mid March. We had the franchise. Like we said, the franchise tags were booming today. Um, mm. Big one that for us. I'm going to ask you what you think of this. Um, the the Pats, the Super Bowl 49 champion Pats, put the franchise tag. I don't even know. What is a franchise tag? I don't franchise even know tag what is a one-year contract. I think it's around $7 million. All right. So it's just a one-year deal? Yep, one-year deal is $7 million. So what's year. the point of it? It can kind of... Um, it just... It puts I that guy... Your hair's coming out and my hair's it puts, coming It puts that player off the side. So you, it kind of buys you another year to, yeah, to negotiate? To, to get a new contract. Okay. Um, so like we said, we put it on Gostowski yep. instead of McCordy. What do you think? I think, I think me personally, I think it was a dumb idea. Dumb. Really. I, yeah, I mean. McCordy's one of those guys in our defense that just wait. He's, he's really good. I just think he made that defense. Him and Dorrell and then Browner were just. Yeah. I mean, no question. The only, the only thing with me is I feel like a kicker. I don't know. I feel like Gostowski's so he's so consistent and good. I, I love him around. Yeah. But, like, I don't think Gostowski, like, would have walked. Yeah, me either. But, you I, know? Mean, I mean, you could you can find, like, kickers. Like, yeah. You can can find you? Kickers I don't really know much about kickers. Uh, I know I mean, UMass needs a kicker. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> That's another day for another story or whatever it goes. Um... But yeah, I don't know how. I know DBs are probably few and far between, few and further between than yeah, kickers are. But yeah. I mean, I don't question it. It's the Pats. You never yeah, me question either. it. Me either. So in Bill, we trust. Um, other big ones. Sue. Dominic yeah, Sue. and Dominic and Sue did not get the franchise tag. Yep. Um, he's gonna leave Detroit. Yeah. I don't think there's any question. I, I would not be surprised if he goes to Seattle. Really? I've heard reports that he wants to go to Seattle. I could see that on that. <sighs> God, that defense and of egotistic yeah. jerks. Narcissistic. Yeah, right. He'll fit right in in Seattle. Um, how about you, boy Beast Mode, going over to Turkey and talking? I heard about that. He oh just talked God. about. I how, hate that guy, dude. But at least he like he said straight up. Pete Carroll looked like he wanted just Russell Wilson one. Yeah, yeah, which is the most like cocky, narcissistic thing ever. Yeah, he's the worst. I don't know how anyone likes Beast Mode. He sucks. He's such a loser. His, his personality's pretty bad, but like he's just a great player. He's great, but I don't want him. On, I would not take him on the Pats. He's yeah. oh, I don't like him. That's all I gotta say. Uh, another big name, Jason Pierre Paul. Yeah, JPP tag. got the franchise tag. Yep. Um, I don't even know. Is he good anymore? I don't even he, know. Yeah, uh, he's been battling injuries. Yeah, last couple of years. Yeah. So he's on the Giants, right? Yeah, Giants. 
He's Who, a really good guy on that defense. Who they, oh, they lost Justin Tuck to Oakland, right? Yep. Um, I saw another guy in Kansas City did, but obviously he's not very Justin important. Houston. Justin Houston. 22 sacks last year. That was him? All right. I know my sports wicked well, as you um, can see. Um, but we got the releases, too. We got Reggie Bush and A.J. Hawk. Oh, yeah. I would love both of those guys in the past. A.J. Hawk, good veteran. Reggie Bush. Yeah. I think Reggie Bush can be a good villain for Shane Vereen. I think so, too. Wants. I would totally agree with that. Um, I'd be totally down with because that. Because I think Shane Vereen's not coming back, I think, personally, just because he's going to get a lot of money yeah. somewhere else. He's t- I think we can easily find a replacement. My thing with the Pats right now, I mean... The Golden Boy got his fourth. Yeah, we're I got my right fourth. Now. Yeah, I mean, I'm content for... You I'm sure a, re- like five a repeat would be sweet, <laughs> but, like, I needed Tommy to get that fourth to solidify himself as the GOAT, and he did it, so yeah. I'm good to go with the pass. You just remember the Super Bowl, too, like, where they won, because the last Super Bowl, like, the Eagles won, I don't remember. Yeah, so we were so young for the last two, so we finally got one while we were older. I mean, it was great. We beat Seattle, which is even better, so... I mean that's just that's wonderful for me. Yeah, I'm I mean, like we said, I'm content. I'm yeah, set for too. however long, five yeah. years. <laughs> I'd say I don't know if I want to go another ten. Ten was lengthy. Ten, ten was pretty lengthy. But I will say, if Brady, like, if you're pushing for Brady to get one more, I think you're kind of greedy. Yeah, you're kind of greedy. You know. Um, but you want to see him go out on top. If I would. Yeah, if he gets one more, he's got to retire on the spot. Has to. If he gets five, then, I mean, there's no question. Just no give him, a like, a baby goat instead of the MVP car. Yeah. He'd probably rather have a goat and be like, this is you. Yeah. Um, moving on, do we have any other things? I don't think I had um anything else lined up. We should talk about some NASCAR. Oh, yeah, that was the other one. That was, that was the other one. Yeah, so Scar season's back in full effect. Um, the Kino members are where D got us into it. D is an avid Scar fan. Brera is now a bandwagon avid Scar fan. Hey, I watched it last. I time. will say he's gotten into it, and I I've set up. I've gotten into it this year, which I I'm, I think I've done pretty well. It's it's yeah. I think you have. I mean, you were watching most of it. Yeah, it's definitely a fun. I like. I mean, it's it's something to do on Sundays. There's nothing else on Sundays no anymore. There's no football. That's the thing in the football. It was. I mean, this in the fall. It was competing with football. Yeah. So it was tough for me to get into it. Um. We had Daytona. Two Sundays ago and Atlanta this past Sunday. Yep. My boy, who I picked to win it all and to win Daytona, won Daytona. Joey Logano, the yep. deuce, the double deuce car. Um, Atlanta was Jimmy Johnson. Jimmy Johnson, the, the goat. goat. The goat won in Atlanta. We got Logano had another top five finish. He yep. finished at four. Junior finished in a three spot. Both three times. again, and then Harvick's finished twice again. In the second? Second again. Really? So yeah. Harvick, I noticed actually looking, Harvick has finished in the top five. I'm pretty sure his last five or six no, races. top now. two in the last five, five or six Was races. Was that it? Yeah, top yeah. two, which is insane. Wicked impressive. Good and for him. And he started in the back, although like, he started yeah, 40th. He um, blew his engine. D was telling me he started on the pole, but blew his engine in practice. Yeah, he So he had the fastest yeah. car, but yeah. he blew it in practice, so he had yeah. to start out back. Yeah. Um, that's what I was kind of confused about. I was like, how does he win yeah. if he is dead last? But that's what it was. That's what we have D to <coughs> clarify for us. Um, Scar, looking ahead, where are we next week? Vegas, We're in right? Vegas, we are in Vegas, Vegas next week. Um, who we got? Uh, I don't know. It's hard because the polls haven't came out yet. Like, no practice. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I think I'm going to go with my Jimmy Johnson. You like think that. he's going to go back to back? Dude, that's I think. Bold. I mean, I, it's, it's hard to do it, but like. It's either him or Harvick. Harvick's had the fastest car every week. Yeah, I could see Harvick doing it. He's more consistent. He's the most consistent. Him and Logano are... Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. Logano was on the pole on... um, Dude, Dale too. Dale top three again, dude. Yeah. I I think one of those guys... um, If I had to get someone else, who would you get like a not... Kind of an obscure dark horse for, for this weekend? I mean... The only one I can think of that has been shitty last two races is like Jeff Gordon. I was going to say... I don't know if it's going to be this week... um, Gordon's gonna get one soon. He's uh, so bad, dude. He got in that crash. Yeah, he's had a couple crashes, which weren't his fault when he's had fast cars. Yeah. So he he's gonna be due. Um, I mean, last week he wasn't. I mean, Sunday he wasn't fast. Like he was competing with Danica for like the whole time. Which yeah, is kind of funny. Which is funny. Um, yeah. But if you guys, we are having a uh, a key. There will be a Kino Radio TV episode, but we will have the Kino Radio gang is heading to Loudon in July. 
So um, yeah, we'll come back with dates. I believe it's July 19th at 1 o'clock, Loud New Hampshire, New Hampshire Motor Speedway. <coughs> we will be there. If you guys want to tag along, let us know. I mean, if we're, we're maybe we'll get something cool like a, a bus or something. Dude, get that a, would um, be crazy. Get a Kino Radio live from the track. Where, like I said, we're definitely at least going to have Kino Radio TV. But if we get a live from the track, a little pregame show, that'd be awesome. Um, but that's that's on you guys. We got to get those followers up. You gotta yeah. gotta spread the word. So if you're listening, you're tuning in right now. Make sure you spread the word. Um, I think that does it for for it is. information. Uh, yeah. Right, so um, just some quick side notes. I I'm turning all these now into MP3s. Right, as you know, they're currently obviously just on YouTube, but I'm turning them all into MP3s. So I'm doing my best to get them onto a blog, uh, podcast website like Blog Talk Radio or something along those lines. And the end goal plan is to get them on iTunes. So I, I got them into MP3s. I got to figure out how to get them on iTunes. Do you know how to do that? No, you can find it fun. You yeah, find you find everything fun. online. I don't really know how to do it, so i got to wheel and deal with that a little bit. Um, next week, as I mentioned, is the week for PCB2K15. Hashtag PCB2K15. We'll be doing a spring break preview. We'll also be having a Kino Radio TV long, week-long episode so you can see <laughs> see how much fun in the sun we have down there. Um, so if I'm you, jealous. If you're listening, yeah, I, I'd be jealous if I was you. We currently <laughs> don't know how we're getting down there yet, though. Really? Yeah, the car oh. situation's a little... <laughs> A little sticky. No bus. Yeah, the bus didn't work oh, out. So dude. the car situation a little sticky. A little note to self, if you guys are ever planning a road trip, make sure you have a car to road trip in. Rental companies are paying the ass. <coughs> um, also news, uh, I actually I, I DM'd the, uh, one of the improv teams here at UMass. Toast. Toast. Okay. Improv Toast, I believe. Okay. And... Um, yeah, they uh they said they love to come on. So either this week, next week, at some point, they're gonna be on the show. They're gonna be talking about what they are, how they became what they are, and uh, what they're gonna do to be famous and become a household name. I assume that's where they want to go with that. Uh, if I was an improv person, I would want to become famous. So <coughs> for Andrew Barrera, yep, Captain Fun. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Kino Radio. Thanks for hanging out with us in the comfort of my own room, as this is this is where Captain Fun resides. Yep, and it is no longer a secret. Sleeping. And yeah, and the Birdman is uh, sleeps in his <laughs> nest behind me. Um, so yeah, take it all in. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for hanging out with us. Like always, Barrera. Facebook.com slash Kino Radio. YouTube search bar Kino Radio. Twitter handle at Kino Radio. So long, baby. We'll see you next week. We'll see you after Blarney. Make sure you check out the video if you want to see all the mayhem. The good mayhem. The positive mayhem that's going on. Take it easy, gang.